Alright, so we're trying out some World War II fighting here, and we're in the P-51. Lots of clouds, lots of overcast as you can see. And uh, we're just flying here on our P-51, and I think there's a BF-109 in this area. I th he's right there. And so we're going to go ahead and dive down on him. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. So now with these new clouds, the fact is that you can sneak up on a lot of guys. Sometimes it's easier to see them because of the uh, the white behind you. It's easier to get spotted. But if you can use the cloud cover, um, you know, adequately without losing visual yourself on the bandit, you can actually launch some pretty surprising sneaky attacks, as I'm going to try to do here. He's over there somewhere. Off to our left side. All right, we just came out of the clouds. He's off the nose, 12 o'clock. We're gonna go underneath him. We're gonna come in from his six o'clock low. And this will be a good position for him to not see us. Basically a good sneak attack going here. He doesn't seem to be suspicious of anything. Uh, six o'clock low being a very effective way to sneak up on uh, bandits, especially during World War II. Uh, this guy is still unreactive. Let's go ahead and light him up. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, man. He just burst into flames there. There's the new uh, fire effects, smoke effects, I guess you could say. And there's been talk of uh, combustible fuel for World War II aircraft in, in DCS in the sim, as far as I know. I don't know if it was implemented. Kind of looks like it was. Um, that guy just burst into flames, fully combusted <laughs> on his way down. He's really cooking. And, uh, yeah, it looks really good. So World War II, the new damage model that they've had, I don't think that's new with 2.7. That's been there for a couple months now, but uh, it's really nice. The fire and smoke effects are definitely new. Look at that explosion down there. Lots of smoke. Very nice. <laughs> 